Hey guys, it's Crystal. Welcome back. So today I'm going to be doing my loves and letdowns for last week. This is Monday, or today is Monday, and I usually like to have these videos up by Monday at the latest. But my mom and my aunt came to visit me last week. Um, I was off for three days in a row. I normally film at least three videos during those three days so that I can post them the following week. However, because they came to visit me, I didn't have a chance to film. I just wanted to spend all my time with them. So I haven't filmed a video for, it seems like, a week or a week and a half, which feels like forever for me. This is probably going to go up on Tuesday, which is a little bit later than normal. I do apologize if you guys were waiting for this. But, um, yeah, these are going to be my loves and letdowns. And I don't have too many products, to be honest. Um, so I'm actually going to do my letdowns first. I normally start, or start with my loves, but I'm going to do my letdowns first in this video. I have two of them. Um, the first one is this brush right here by Sephora. It's the Sephora Face Blender Brush. Now, I've been wanting the NARS Eda brush, but it's like out of stock everywhere, so I haven't, able, I haven't been able to get a hold of that brush. And I've been using this other brush for contouring, which I really like. I like it, but I hate it. So I like it because it just contours really nicely. It's the Angled Contour Brush by Borghese. It came in a Costco set that I purchased a while back. It's just a nice kind of blending, contouring type brush. I really like it because it works well. However, it's a natural haired bristle brush, so it sheds like crazy. So when I'm done contouring, I always have all these white hairs all over my face and it drives me crazy and I can't stand it because I gotta go pick them off. So I've been loving it, but I've also been hating it. So I'm kind of on the hunt for a better contouring brush. Um, something that is great for contouring, but also great for blending out the contour. So with that said, um, I purchased this one online. It's the Sephora. Face Blender, it's number 134, and it had lots of good reviews on it, so I decided, hey, why not, I'll just give it a try. So, I like the packaging of it, or the the handle of it, it comes to like a point. It comes with these really nice um, protectors, you just flip it open, and you just slide it down, so it kind of helps shape your brush. So like if you travel, I think those are really nice to put on there, that way they don't get damaged, so I would definitely keep that. Um, I can't remember how much this brush was. It was maybe like $38, pretty pricey. And because of the reviews, I purchased it. There were lots of good reviews about it. So I decided to give it a try. The first time I used it, wasn't a fan. Second time, wasn't a fan. Third time, wasn't a fan. I just don't like this brush. Um, it doesn't contour the way I want it to contour. Now, the bristles are extremely, extremely soft. I thought they were going to be kind of stiff and pokey, but they're not. They're actually very, very soft. I'll just give you a little close-up of them. So it's pretty dense and it's soft, it's dense, it has a flat top but it kind of at an angle flat top. Um, so I wasn't really sure the proper way to use this so I've tried it a couple ways. I'll insert a little clip of me doing it today um, just to show you guys how I've tried it. Um, so I've tried it, I've tried contouring like this way and Although it gives a nice crisp line, it's not a good brush for blending out that contour. So yeah, I can get the bronzer or whatever contouring powder the way I want it, like right under the cheek or the, in the hollows of the cheeks. But then to go blend it out is impossible with this type of brush just because they're short and it's very dense. It's not fluffy enough, I guess, for blending. So. Um, I didn't like applying it that way. And then because it has that like kind of weird angle to it or curve to it, it actually fits perfectly like this onto your cheekbone. So this part goes like in the hollows of your cheeks or even the opposite way. This goes in the hollows of your cheeks and it kind of just curves around your cheekbone there. So I don't know if it's intended to use that way, but I tried using it this way. And again, it's just not good for blending because it's so short and dense. It's just not fluffy enough for blending out the contour. So for me, an ideal contour brush is something that I can use to chisel out my cheeks, but also to blend it out. So this just doesn't do that for me, so it's going back tomorrow. If any of you guys have tried this brush, let me know what your thoughts are on it. I mean, there was lots of good reviews on it, but I don't think it's for everybody. It just wasn't for me. So, And then I didn't find it easy to kind of blend the contour up around here just because it's not fluffy enough. So this brush didn't work for me, unfortunately. So again, I will be on the hunt for a different contour brush. Um, my second letdown this week was the Scandal Eyes Thick and Thin Eyeliner. 
Now this is an eyeliner that I showed you guys in my really big drugstore haul video that I posted. I think it was in January. I bought, bought like a ton of new products that were at the drugstore in January. And this was one eyeliner I picked up. I kind of forgot about it in the drawer. And then I started using it and I just, I don't like it. So um, this is what the tip of it looks like. It's a little bit dirty because I did use it. So you can use it this way or you can kind of turn it and use it that way. So depending on how you use it, you'll get a different line. One line gives you a really, or one way to use it gives you a really thin line. The other way to use it gives you a thicker line. So, and right now it's not looking too black. Um, I haven't used it a ton, but it doesn't seem, maybe because it has a little eyeshadow on it. I'm not really sure, but... Overall, I just don't like the felt tip applicator. It's very stiff and it just, it doesn't make the application of the eyeliner easy. It's not like whoop, it's kind of like uh, 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 like tugging at your skin a little because it's so hard and stiff. So I'm really not a fan, I don't like this. And unfortunately, I threw away the packaging so I can't return it now. But um, I'm trying to mention more of the products that I purchased in that big drugstore haul video like the two-part video because I want to let you guys know if I like them or not so this was one of the products that I just don't like it just doesn't work well it's not that black I don't know it's just not a good eyeliner for me so yeah that was my letdowns this week so let's get on to my loves this week I'm gonna talk about two nail polishes and the first one is Orly nail polish in let's see this is called pink waterfall and I don't know if the camera is going to do it justice but this is what it looks like I will insert a picture of it on my nails that I posted on Instagram this is just a gorgeous shade it's one of my favorite nail polishes it's probably my like at least number one or number two like I love this nail polish I could paint my nails over and over and over with this it's just such a pretty color I don't know if you can see it true to color in this video but even the picture that I'm going to insert is probably not true to color because I took it in the evening. But this is a beautiful color. It's kind of like a pinky purple and I love my pinky purples. Um, I have it on this finger right here but next to the blue it looks more pink than it does purplish. So it's not really true to color I feel next to the blue and plus it's kind of wearing off. My nails are having some wear and tear. I need to repaint them. But I don't remember if this is part of a limited edition collection. I almost feel like it is, and I just can't remember what collection it was from. But if you can still get your hands on this, this is just a gorgeous shade. And the next one is the Revlon Color Stay Longwear Nail Enamel. This one right here I have on my nails, and it's just a really pretty blue. I don't wear blues and greens too often, but I kind of, you know, put the blue nail polish on and the pinky purple on my ring finger, and it looks like I have Easter nails. <laughs> Um, so yeah, this is just a really pretty blue color and it is called Coastal Surf. So just a nice bright blue for the springtime. Okay, so an eyeshadow that I've been loving this week, I've been actually testing it out, but I've been really loving it. It's this Total Intensity Eyeshadow from Prestige Cosmetics. Now I have a review video going up on these along with some other Total Intensity products from Prestige. It's probably going to go up, you know, maybe a day or two later than this video here. So I will talk more about it in that video, but um, this one is called, or this is the True Metals Eyeshadow in Copper. And it's just a really gorgeous color. I love the pigmentation, the, the metallicness of it. It's very like buttery, creamy, smooth, and just super extremely pigmented. Look at how gorgeous that is. This is just a really great eyeshadow. Um, color for any eye color but it will really make your blue or green eyes pop if you have blue or green eyes I am wearing it today on my lid my makeup is not fresh because I did run errands but I do have it on my lid and I just absolutely love it I've worn it numerous times this week or this past week and it's just a gorgeous copper color so beautiful beautiful color from prestige these are part of the total intensity line but they just came out with new products for the line, like 23 new products, which I will go over in my review video. So just stay tuned for that video when it pops up. So a couple other eyeshadows that I've been loving are some eyeshadows from these um, Sigma palettes. This is the Warm Neutrals palette, and this is the Smoke Screen palette. So these are new to Sigma, they're limited edition. I don't know that you can buy the Warm Neutrals individually by itself now. 
I think you can only buy it as a set because I think last time I looked on the Sigma website, it was only available in the whole collection, like if you want to buy the whole collection, which is kind of pricey, but you do get a lot of products. Um, but they used to sell this individually. And this one, um, you can probably still find this one individually, the smokescreen palette, because it is um, fairly newer. So let me just show these to you. Yeah, this is the packaging on these. I really like it. It's just sleek and um, it's magnetic, has a mirror in it, and really great full-size eyeshadows in here. So I really love the packaging. So first, let me start with the Warm Neutrals palette. I had this sitting in my drawer for probably probably a couple months. I'm not gonna lie, it was sitting there just because sometimes I buy so much makeup that I don't I don't have enough time to use it all right away. So I need to like slow my roll with buying makeup. Seriously, I just need to enjoy what I have because I have so much. Um, but this is what the Warm Neutrals palette looks like. It's just so stinking pretty. I wore this, I think, two or three times, and I just love it. Um, let's see, what colors did I wear? I wore this one. So these are some of the shades right here. They're just really pigmented, really soft and blendable, and I just love all the colors in here. Um, so I like, let's see, I like this one right here. It's called Dove, and this kind of maroony one is called Russet. And this one is cinnamon, which is amazing. It's like a matte shade and it's just amazing. And this one is another matte shade that's amazing. It's called Cozy. And what else? Oh, this matte shade right here too is really nice. This one is called Innocent. And look at how pigmented it is. They're just so extremely pigmented. So this is a really great palette. If you could still get your hands on it, I would highly recommend it. It's just, it's real. The matte shades are so pretty. I just, they're all great, like blending colors, crease colors, contour colors, you know? So the next one is called the Smoke Screen Palette. And again, all the shades are on the back, which is really nice. And same packaging. And these colors are really beautiful too. So the Warm Neutrals is obviously more of a warm palette. And this one is a little bit warm, but it also has some cool tones in it. So when I first saw them come out with this second palette, I thought, oh, it looks so similar to the Warm Neutrals. I don't think I need it. But then I think I saw somebody do a video or maybe some swatches or something on their blog. And I was like, well, they're actually pretty different. So I did end up picking this up. They're $39 each, which is a pretty good deal. I think you get a fair amount of product. Um, so the shadows that I used in this palette were these two right here. This one is called Misty. This one is Haze. And the other one I used is this one over here called Rave. And I think those are all the ones that I use in this palette so far. This purple blew me away. This really soft purple right here. I don't even know if you can truly see that it's a purple on camera. It's probably getting washed out. But I was extremely amazed. A lot of times when you see like a matte light purple, the pigmentation's not there, but it is. It has really great pigmentation and it's super soft. Um, and then this one, oh, they're just so nice. These are the two, these are the first two Sigma um, eyeshadows palettes that I've ever purchased from them. So they really have exceeded my expectations, to be honest. So that one right there, that one is Rave. No, that one's Haze. So that one's a really great uh, crease color. And then the other one that I used was this one right here. And this is like a beautiful brown with some gold flecks in it. That one's called Rave. So I'm really looking forward to using the rest of the shades in this palette because I've only used three of the 12 colors and you know they were amazing. So I can't wait to try the rest of them. And so that was pretty much it for my loves and letdowns this week. Not too many products. I mean, let's see, two, four, six, seven, seven products. That's not bad. Usually have a lot more than that. So um, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you have a fabulous week. Bye.